Hello students. Today let's learn how to do robot simulation using .NET. As you see, I am running an application. It is developed using C .NET, and I can do forward kinematics using these uh, sliders. Okay, and I can also do inverse kinematics. So if I say go to this position, so it's calculate. Uh, which joint has to move in uh, how much and in which direction it has to move and rotate whatever it is so this is doing uh, inverse kinematics as well so this robot is visualized in 3d using uh, a toolkit called helix toolkit which is based on um, wpf 3d okay so if you are interested we can learn it in detail but let's have some basic idea to know what is wpf 3d okay so first of all i have tried to i given some idea suppose you know dot net dot net is a framework right now there are several language which support programming using dot net framework like uh, vb dot net or csf dot net now using dot net you can actually create either console application uh, or you can develop desktop application which runs on windows mostly and you can develop web applications right now web applications like sp.net uh, uh, sp.net based web application you can develop uh, for desktop application we have mainly two things like winform and wpf many of you have started learning .NET programming directly using winform but I suggest if you want to learn .NET well, you should start with learning console application first and then switch to WinForm. In WinForm, we create some controls like text box buttons. We create some thing like calculator using .NET and we stop there and we think that we have learned .NET WinForm programming, but that's a very small part. Actually, you learn logic development using .NET, uh, sorry, any, prog uh, any programming language if you develop console applications. So your first steps should be should be console application and then WinForm. And in WinForm, if you want to do mainly 2D graphics, we can use some technology called GDI Plus Graphics Device Interface. Uh, you can use this. Mostly 2D graphics can be drawn, but you can utilize it with good, good mathematics. You can create also 3D graphics, but that is not so much appealing or good. If you want to, uh, now there is another way of creating desktop application which is called WPF okay and using WPF there is some additional thing called WPF 3D uh, using which you can create good uh, 3D graphics okay now WPF can be used in web application also but uh, I used to create WPF application which is called XPAP in past but now it is I don't know uh, it is not running well and uh, there is some issues that's why I given a red line here so there is some issue probably the support has been withdrawn for xbap or um, wpf based web application now today's focus is uh, helix toolkit from this diagram you can understand if you want to learn helix toolkit you have to learn wpf 3d you have to learn wpf 3d you have to learn wpf you have to learn wpf it means you have to learn dotnet desktop programming using either vb.net or csr.net right now there is another way to understand what is helix toolkit now first of all you are uh, running windows operating system so directx is a technology from microsoft and it runs only on windows platform i am not talking about anything on linux or mac i don't have any idea how they work but probably directx is specifically uh, on windows now wpf 3d is based on directx so wpf 3d is a is developed on top of DirectX and Helix Toolkit is developed on top of WPF 3D. So it's a very high level toolkit which helps you to quickly develop uh, 3D application, right? Using .NET technology for Windows desktop application. Now, obviously this sample uh, is a little bit com complex. I can show you the code. So this is the XAML file which is used in .NET program, uh, WPF programming. You have a design and 
this is the design part this is the xaml part and you write the code behind in the cs it can be done in ruby.net or csf.net so there are lots of code right for doing forward kinematics and inverse kinematics everything is there so it is not possible for me to teach uh, all of this stuff in suddenly as you see there is inverse kinematics there are some calculus and mathematics everything you have to know it's not just only coding you have to know the mathematics and theory theory behind uh, robots kinematic so if you want to learn uh, helix toolkit for 3d for creating 3d graphics uh, desktop application uh, so how can you can learn it right so let's close it and try to create something new okay so there is a document i can share this link to you or you can also see it is in the github how to getting started with wpf 3d as well as helix toolkit right this is some documentation so let me quickly go through that and create the application so the documentation is in csr.net okay uh, as you see the code is in csr.net but the same thing can be done in ruby.net as well it means uh, you can do any of this using either ruby.net or csr.net okay okay so let's follow this so how to start let's create a what should we do we have to create a desktop application using WPF. Now this is WPF application, but I am looking for the .NET Framework based application. Okay. Now I can give the name as a, okay. So let me check. getting started demo but I think I already have a project with that name I already have a project with that name I can either delete that for now for some reason I cannot delete it maybe lock somewhere uh, so let's do it uh, one okay I am creating it in this uh, or one thing let solution name is one but the project name remains that so okay solution name is in the same right so okay solution name is one yeah now we can do that i'm creating a so in which language it it, it got made in maybe no i want to develop it in uh, uh, csr content right so what can i do i can Project and in CSR WPF application.net framework and uh, name it uh, say C SAR. Okay, uh, now if you just run it, you will see a blank application, right. There's nothing now uh, you can add 3d elements here directly without actually writing a single line of csr or ruby.net code and for that what you have to do first thing uh, you can add this two thing okay it's just two thing but uh, the final stage it will be like uh, the final stage it will be like that one in xaml okay can copy these lines it is here also you can add these lines in the xaml where you have to write that you have to write not inside the grid delete the grid for now you can paste it here okay now if you paste it here if you try to run you will get an error you it will say that age is undeclared something something like that so because it does not understand what is helix and what is all this stuff so what you have to do you have to add this two line you have to add this two line here okay replace just this line with this one and even if you try to do that it will still fail 
it is saying this tag does not exist, something like that. So what to do? You can right click on the project, say manage nugget package packages, go to browse. So helix toolkit we have to install actually, right? So install. Installing or not. Happened. Yeah. It is installing. And even after that, you have to install this Selix toolkit or WPF. You have to install that package also. Once that is done, you can build that project and you can run it. So as you see, without writing a single line of code, you can show a teapot. So what is this teapot is actually? This is a built-in 3D object, right? So as you see, it is adding light and adding 3D, I, I, a teapot. So if you want a cube or box, something like that, you can you have to add a box visual 3D as you just save it and just save and rebuild it. You will see a box here, I probably you will see a box here view here and if you run it and you can zoom it rotate it and you see a box now using that you can make more complicated thing right okay now this is uh, here we are using it uh, xaml we are not writing proper c sharp code you have to write c sharp code you have to write here so instead of doing it using this kind of uh, xaml tags or code can we do in proper c sub code yes we can do it and we have to write the logic here okay so there are two ways to do it so first of all you have to create this function you have to write it inside this main window class and then you have to call this function if you don't call it nothing will happen okay call it nothing will happen you have to finally call this function of inside the uh, constructor of main window and after the initialize component you have to call this function once you call that you can see this teapot now if you want to see the cube what you have to do you have to just replace this teapot with the box right box visual 3d and you can see that so this is how you start learning uh, this Helix Toolkit, which is based on top of uh, WF3D. So if you learn Helix Toolkit, what things you will learn? You will be learning WF3D, you will be learning WPF, uh, desktop application development using WPF, using .NET Framework, and particularly any language, say VB.NET, System.NET. So if you learn this kind of thing, you will learn all the technologies in this chain, first of all. And if you can basically uh, uh, okay, close solution, if you can run uh, uh, this one and debug this piece of code, okay, then you will be learning how to utilize this toolkit to do robot simulation or any kind of machine simulation or any kind of simulation, graphic simulation, right? Even you can create 3D games, right? Simulation or games, anything you can develop. I hope you get an overall idea of what is Helix Toolkit and how it helps you to quickly develop 3D application using .NET technology on Windows platform for a desktop application. Thank you. If you have any question, contact me and we will see how we can learn together. Thank you.